this thing sounds better than my Wooten. And this is like all modded out too. Like these are not stock keycaps. I hand lubed the switches. I lubed the uh, stabilizer a little bit more than Wooten did. Wow. <laughs> and this thing is more expensive too. Like I like this obviously, but um, this sounds better and it's cheaper by a lot. And comes with these cool keycaps. Like I had to spend, um, I think 80-ish or $50, $80, something like that on these keycaps alone. Plus I had to lube the switches. These are smooth. I would say that these switches are equally as smooth. I haven't dug into the details just yet, but I know that they are Hall Effect magnetic switches as well. And uh, let's talk about it in a little bit. Let's talk about it. All right, you guys, so I spent a lot of time with the Arbiter Polar 65, and here are my thoughts. I'm not gonna make this super long because obviously this is a keyboard review and we have reviewed many, many keyboards on the channel. But guys, for $125, if you already have your own keycaps, comes with the switches pre-installed, or $150 if you do want the keycaps, Quite honestly, that is a fantastic deal. The Wooting 60HE, which is a little bit of a smaller keyboard and objectively worse build quality as far as like your material choices and whatnot, um, because this is CNC aluminum, where the Wooting, if you want an aluminum case, you have to buy the aluminum case from Wooting or another source like the KBD Tofu, you're just adding hundreds of dollars to your expense. Where on the Polar 65, you have aluminum on the sides and then you have a polycarbonate bottom, which also helps out a lot with the acoustics and it gives you the nicer premium look and feel as well for the keyboard. And quite honestly, I think that that combo with the aluminum and the polycarbonate on the back does give you a really good sound profile as well as we have seen previously on the Odin Aurora 65. Back then, I thought that was a fantastic idea to get a fantastic look and sound. And here we see it in a Hall Effect keyboard, which again, for $150 or $125 is a fantastic deal. At the moment, they don't have software to control the um, input for the switch is as far as like how little or how high you want your actuation to be but um, I believe that is coming pretty soon probably somewhere in like the December time frame so hopefully the software comes out and it's pretty lean and doesn't run on your PC 100% of the time I don't think it'll need to it'll probably just load um, you know a version of whatever you have saved and then you should be able to close it after that would be my thought but um, otherwise I just hope that they have some really lean software when it does come out but otherwise the performance of the keyboard I'm very happy with as far as the performance in game I do think that this is a very good performing keyboard and I would say that it does perform pretty close to Wooting, but I would like to see some more software implementation, like I was saying earlier, to give you to give you more uh, control over what the board is doing, and so that you can try things like having the rapid trigger on or off and seeing what gets better performance for you, and some other things as well that you can adjust in Wooting software. So that is something that I would like to see in the future. But for now, just having everything built into the keyboard and being really easy to change, I really don't have any issues in terms of performance to mention. And and quite honestly, guys, this thing looks and feels fantastic and it performs well too for the price. I would highly recommend you pick it up. I'll leave a link in the description. But uh, that's all I got for you guys. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in the next video.